Alright, this is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 11, and we're going to be solving some word problems. Uh, we're going to, it says, uh, interpret the unknown in multiplication and division to model and solve problems. That's basically word problems. But the idea of the model means we're going to be using those tape diagrams, and tape diagrams are really awesome. So teachers... Um, if you think you have a better way of explaining it, great. Go ahead and explain how to solve word problems. But don't do it instead of tape diagrams. Make sure you do it in addition to tape diagrams. These tape diagrams are super duper important, and we in the math community know that uh, Singapore uses them with great success, and we can see the continuity uh, of students using tape diagrams in second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, etc. And uh, so really, we're going to be pushing tape diagrams because we know they are super duper useful. So we're going to use a tape diagram to solve this problem. First thing I'm going to do is read the problem. Uh, it says, Jenny bakes 10 cookies. She puts 7 chocolate chips on each cookie. So we've got this, and we've got this. And then it says, draw a tape diagram and label the total amount of cookies, uh, a total amount of chocolate chips as C. So our variable here that we don't know is C. And then it says write an equation. So let's begin with that tape diagram. So she bakes 10 cookies. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram representing those 10 cookies. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut it in half. And then I'm going to cut each half into five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. So I now have 10 uh, pieces and those 10 pieces are going to represent the 10 cookies and each cookie has a has a 7 on it meaning 7 chocolate chip cookies so because my model I'm trying to make these all look to be the same size I don't need to label every single one of them with a 7 I'm just labeling this first one as a 7 to represent that each of these cookies has seven uh, chocolate chips. And then it says, what is the total right here? In fact, I should underline that and label the total amount. So the total is going to be indicated by this big bracket. Now, ordinarily, I would do a question mark, but it wants us to use the letter C. So I'm going to use the letter C right here. And so that right there is the tape diagram. In order to write our equation, I'm going to label it, uh, uh, write it as uh, 10 times 7, as in we have 10 groups of 7. So 10 times 7 equals C, and if I wanted to multiply, I would, and I'd go C is equal to 70. And so technically the answer is 70 chocolate chips. On this one, it says there are 35 computers in the lab, five students, each turn off an equal number of computers. So that word equal is going to be super important. How many computers does each student turn off? Label the unknown as M. All right, so going back to read the question again, it says we have 35 computers in the lab. Now that's the total. So I'm going to draw a thing, a bar that represents the total, and there it is. There's our 35, and you can kind of see that this kind of represents the whole, so 35. Now it says five students each turn off an equal number of computers. So that means I'm going to take these computers and I'm going to cut it into five equal sized groups. At least there I'm trying to make them equal. So there are our five students. One, two, three, four, five. And we don't know how many students, I mean, how many computers each student turns off. So that is our unknown right here. We don't know how many computers this student turns off, but we're being told to label it with an M. And so now we can um, record this either as a multiplication problem or as a division problem. If I want to record it as a multiplication problem, I would say we have five groups of M, and that is equal to 35. 
So solving it, I would say to myself, well, 5 times what equals 35? So 5 times what? So I count with my, I go by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Oh, the answer is 7. So m is equal to 7. Now, there, the other way you could have recorded it is as a division problem. You could have said 35 divided by 5 equals m. And then we don't know what m is, so you have to do the math, and you get, oh, the division is m is equal to 7. All right. So either one of these techniques would have worked, like this one up here, or this one right here, and this is basically how the tape diagram would look. And the last problem for this video, uh, there are eight trail mix bags in one box. Clarissa buys five boxes. Then she gives an equal number of bags of trail mix to four friends. So this is a couple of different steps. How many bags of trail mix does each friend receive? So we see this part right here is the first step. So let's model it. There are eight trail mix bags in one box. Clarissa buys five boxes. So one box would have eight, but she's buying five. So one, two, three, four, five. So there's our total. She's buying five of them, and each one has eight. And so the question is, what's the total? Now, it doesn't give us the directions. The directions don't tell us that we have to use any particular label. So I'm going to um, label the whole thing as T for trail mix. All right, and so we want to solve that. So we're going to do 5 times 8, as in 5 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 groups of 8 is equal to T. So T is equal to 40 bags. And then the second question says she gives an equal number of bags to her four friends. So we're going to take these 40 bags, and there's my total right here, 40 bags, and we're going to share it with her four friends, which means I'm going to cut it up into four equal sized groups, and the question is, how many does each person get, so I'm going to put F for friend. So now we can solve this problem, and this problem is going to be 40 divided by 4 equals F, or I could have thought of it as a multiplication problem, but I'm going to think of it as a division problem this time. So 40 divided by 4, so 4 times what gives me 40? Oh, F is going to equal 10. So each friend gets 10 bags of trail mix. And that is grade 3, module 3, lesson 11, where we're using those tape diagrams to help us understand multiplication and division word problems.